This video is brought to you by BoardGamePrices.com. Find the best prices for board games at BoardGamePrices.com. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Viticulture in about 3 minutes. This is for the Essential Edition and I've not played the Non-Essential Edition. It is a game for 1-6 to six players. It has a solo mode using Automa cards. Playing time's around 60 to 90 minutes. It's a moderately complex game. You're a couple who has just inherited a dilapidated vineyard in Tuscany. You have lofty aspirations of taking this land and turning it into a premier vineyard whose product is wanted all over the world. Will your wines be hailed as sublime and find their way into the cellars of the rich and powerful? Or will you simply be another vineyard making Chateau de Cardboard? The game ends the turn one player gets to 20 victory points, although the winner is a player with the most points once that turn ends. Competitive. Only one player can have the most prestigious vineyard. Worker placement. Placing workers in spaces allows you to take the associated actions. Note that some spaces are only available at certain player counts. Player turn. At the start of the game, each player gets a mama and a papa card. These cards determine what your starting resources are. You get a board showing your vineyard. This is where you will build upgrades and manage your wine business. But the core of the game is taking action on the main board that impact your vineyard. The turn takes place over four seasons. In spring, starting with the first player, you select the place for your rooster on this track. This determines your order for the rest of the turn and gives you a bonus. In summer, you can use yellow spaces to place workers. For example, this allows you to play one summer visitor. The middle spaces give a bonus. In this case, an extra visitor card can be played. You can claim the middle space first if it is available. Visitor cards give you a one-time bonus when played. If all spaces are occupied, you can use your ground day worker and still take the action. Here you can draw vine cards and here is where you plant them. Vines have different strength of red and white grapes and different building requirements. If this player had both matching buildings they could plant these vines here. Note that this field has a max grape strength of 7. Other summer locations allow you to upgrade buildings, gain money or sell fields. In the autumn phase you draw either a summer or a winter visitor and if you have the cottage you get one more. Winter actions function just like summer only on the blue locations. Here you can play winter visitors and this one allows you to draw wine orders. These spots allow you to harvest fields, make wine, and fill orders. Harvesting a field adds its total grape value to your crush pads. Wine strength is limited by what cellars you have built. To make a red or a white wine, simply move the grape markers to the matching numbers in your cellar. To make a rosé, combine one white and one red. And to make a sparkling wine, one white and two reds. Wine orders require you to remove wine of at least the strength shown on the cards from your cellar. Each order gives you victory points and increases your residual income. At the end of the turn, reclaim all workers, age all grapes and wine one step if possible, and collect your residual income. Why would you like this game? Viticulture is an incredibly accessible game with a theme that is easy to grasp and non-confrontational. The whole package of Viticulture is that of an elegant board game. The theme is also one that appeals to people who won't normally touch sci-fi or fantasy. Mechanically, it is in the fabled sweet spot of reasonably easy to learn while having enough depth to challenge all but the most beardy of gamers, at least for a while. All the fundamentals of worker placement are in this game, but it's safer and less passive aggressive than most. The grande workers in particular make you feel like you are never 100% locked out of taking a positive action. The best thing about this game is the soothing process of planting, harvesting, bottling and selling. I love games where mechanics feel intrinsically connected to their theme. However, the visitor cards can cause some dramatic swings. One game in particular I played in, I went first, played two summer cards and two winter cards and had an unstoppably good position on turn one. Are you more interested in beer? If so, check out Brewcrafters. And if you want a full service cafe and hotel, try Grand Austria Hotel. Viticulture. Now all we need is a good game about cheese. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.